One question that I get asked quite often is, how many cards can you keep track of? Uh, well, it's very difficult. One card you can keep track of uh, pretty simply, but once you start adding a second card, for example, the ace, not only do I have to keep track of that first ace, the ace of hearts, I also have to keep track of the ace of spades, which has a new position. Every time I cut the cards like this, each ace has a new position. And then when you start adding shuffles into the mix, it gets really difficult. In a recent video, I think I tracked uh, one playing card through five shuffles. So you can only imagine if I shuffle five times now, I have to recalibrate the positions of each of those aces. As a matter of fact, even after a cut, it's nearly impossible. If I were even to get one ace in a hand of uh, six-handed poker, for example, that would be pretty lucky. Uh, but what I've noticed, though, is uh, the more that I practice cheating at cards, the luckier I, I tend to get. Uh, if you're going to say this is bottom deals, just watch it again. Clearly, it's not bottoms. If you want to see this live, you can see me in Chicago, March 24th and 25th at the Hubbard Inn. Link is in the bio. I'll see you there.